Hey guys and welcome back to Mzanzi Sobi Ketchup. If you're new here, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update. Tuesday, 1 August, Nandifa shows up at the Molapo house to offer Isaac immunity if he turns on those videos. And in a surprise turn, Ria tells him to take the deal. Wednesday, 2 August, Isaac decides not to turn state witness and Funani is grateful. But Funani later entertains the idea of pinning Alex's murder on Isaac to save Mkosi from going to prison. Thursday, 3 August, Funani decides to drop the plan to set up Isaac after a conversation with Ona. Meanwhile, Zanele finally links up with Zola and finds him interesting and complex. Friday, 4 August, Nkosi goes against his father and winds up planting the gun at the Molapo house. And he then informs the authorities to search the Molapo residence, find the gun and arrest Isaac for murder. Monday, 7 August, a frustrated Funani considers pinning Alex's murder on Faith, but Lass starts making him see that Faith has a point and Isaac might be the perfect suspect. Tuesday, 8 August, Funani denies being behind the plot to frame Isaac and then offers to take care of Isaac's family if he agrees to take the fall for the murder. Wednesday, 9 August, Zanele tells Zola she's willing to give them a chance if they take things slow and he's happy to do that but insists they are exclusive. Thursday, 10 August, Nandifa tells Shoki about Nkosi's involvement in Alex's murder but Shoki doesn't believe her and Faith invites Zanele's boyfriend for dinner. Friday, 11 August, Ria tells Molefe about how Isa gave her a recording he made on the night they buried Alex and Molefe warns the recording could cause a war between the families. Monday, 14 August, Ria tells Isaac that Funani promised to pay his bail, but when Nandifa fails to convince Isaac to turn against the Zwides, she has his bail blocked. Tuesday, 15 August, Faith thinks there's something a little off with Zola, but Nkosi thinks she just didn't like being contradicted and having her hypocrisy highlighted. Wednesday, 16 August, Mampo and Neo get off to a terrible start as they debate the editorial and Molefe ends up encouraging Ona to take back control of the project. Thursday, 17 August, Funani does his interview with Vogue Africa while Ona handles the editorial and Nandifa threatens to have Isaac harmed in prison unless Ria shows her the evidence implicating the Zwides. Friday, 18 August, Ria tells Ona the Zwides killed Alex and called Isaac to help them get rid of the evidence, but she refuses to believe Ria. Monday, 21 August, Isaac and Funani end up fighting after being put in the same cell for Alex's murder, and Funani tells Nkosi that Isaac recorded him the night of the murder. Tuesday, 22 August, Faith confronts Ria for giving Nandifa evidence incriminating Funani, and Kosi suggests Funani bring in Faith to oversee the creation of the collection. Wednesday, 23 August, Neo surprises Ona with flowers and a day out, while Funani asks Faith to come back to House of Zwide to spearhead the designing of the collection, and the delighted Faith agrees. Thursday, 24 August, Funani finally tells Ona the truth about Alex's death and she walks out on him. While Faith intervenes just as Laz is about to have Mampo thrown out and Mampo ends up begging for a job. Friday, 25 August, Ona apologizes to Ria for not believing her and laments having to keep a secret surrounding the true nature of Alex's death. Monday, 28 August, with Isaac in jail, Ria tells Molefe he has to step up as a man and she forces him to work on the Shisanyama even though he's exhausted from working at House of Zwide. Tuesday, 29 August, Nandifa wonders if Funani falls under Isaac's protection as well and after hesitating, Isaac declares him and Funani are untouchable while in prison. Wednesday, 30 August, Laz tells Ona she should design for her father and Ona promises to think about it but Ona ends up deciding to stay and help an overwhelmed Rhea. Thursday, 31 August, Sandile overhears Laz saying Sandile, Mampo and Neo are not good enough and Sandile calls Laz out for never believing in him. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update.